Hi, in this video I want to show you uh, the latest version of Revit's Auto Dimension Pack 1127. Uh, this version has a couple of hot fixes, uh, compatibility with Revit 2021, uh, compatibility with different screen resolutions or sizes. Uh, so I'll start by um, explaining the pack's UI. Um, the different features and options available, what you can do, and then move on to make um, a real live demo uh, of what this pack can do. Uh, after you've installed the pack, uh, a new tab will appear. Um, on the on the right uh, on the right side, uh, you can find the options or preferences available uh, to placing your dimensions. Uh, according to your uh, office or company standards and on the left side you can find the actual buttons or commands uh, which you can use to actually pl place those dimensions uh, on your drawings. Uh, most of these commands work uh, on a single click basis meaning that you just click a, a button and all of the uh, dimensions will be placed uh, automatically um, and this pack you, with this pack you can actually dimension entire projects in, in a matter of minutes rather than wasting entire days at work to just place some uh, dummy dimensions uh, if you hover over any uh, button uh, a tooltip will Appear and if you press F1, it will take you to the help page on our website, artisatics.net. Um, on this help page, you can find detailed information, uh, tutorials, live demonstrations. Uh, you can also find the frequently asked questions. Uh, download a trial version to try it for yourself. And if you want, uh, make a purchase. Okay. Uh, so let's start uh, demonstrating our uh, pack. Uh, I'll start by placing uh, dimensions, my grid dimensions. So let's say uh, I want to place those grid dimensions on the head side only, uh, not, in, not on both sides. Uh, so most of these commands actually will, will have uh, corresponding options uh, in the configure panel. Uh, from which you can choose how to place those uh, dimensions. So if I want to place uh, the grids only on one side, I can check this mark, I can check this box here and then it, it will uh, place uh, those dimensions on one side only. Uh, okay, I'm gonna column to grid okay the column sections or sizes in plan view okay let's make this by selection rather than by view curtain walls okay the basic walls Let's say I need to convert these multiple dimension lines on the south facade or south elevation into uh, a single uh, dimension line rather than five or four lines. I can use the combine tool here and select those dimensions, and click finish, and then uh, it will convert them to a single dimension line. This way it's easier for me to uh, manipulate it, move it, or drag or making any kind of uh, um, modifications. Uh, okay, I actually uh, need to also place uh, dimensions for uh, the curtain grids of uh, all of the curtain walls in this plan. So I'm, I'm going to go to the configure panel and check this pop box here, dimension curtain wall grids. 
and I also want uh, these dimension lines to be uh, a bit farther from uh, their corresponding walls so I will use the distance box to enter let's say a uh, one meter okay, let's make it a little farther Let's make it a little, okay, this is better, okay, I can also place some dimensions uh, or dimension some walls by line, let's say I need to dimension the distances between uh, these walls here. I can use wall, walls by line command and make a line from here to here and it's going to place dimensions over these uh, walls and from here to here it's going to place dimensions over these walls marking the uh, total widths of these walls and also the distances between each one of them. Okay, I'll hit escape. Um, I can also, but by default, uh, the, the package works to dimension the, uh, the basic walls um, and opening widths but if I need to dimension uh, opening centers I can do that as well from the configure panel uh, I'm going to check uh, wall opening centers to dimension uh, the basic walls from uh, the centers of the openings and this time I'm going to uh, dimension by selection I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going to select this wall Okay, great. So this time it placed dimension from the centers of these uh, openings. I can also place um, totals, place dimension over the total length of uh, the wall. I'm going to make this two meters. Select the same wall. And then it will place the total dimension of this wall. Okay. There is also tools to place dimensions uh, over uh, stairs by view or by selection. Let's make it by view. It has written uh, the stair equation. Uh, this run, for example, has 12 uh, treads. Each tread is uh, 300 millimeters and the total length is uh, 3600. If I need to dimension each riser, I can do that as well. From the configure panel, I can uncheck uh, the stair equation and let me choose another uh, dimension style from here. This one. And this way it will place dimensions over each uh, step uh, in my stairs. And it has done this to all of my stairs in the entire view because I have used the runs by view. I could have used the run selection uh, if I want to. Okay, uh, let's try the landings. Uh, it has placed it, but it's uh, a bit uh, away from the landing, so let's reset our distance and run the command again. Uh, this is better. And actually, I'm, I'm going to choose uh, this dimension type, dimension style. Okay. So, you get the uh, idea. 
Um, I can also use the package to dimension uh, rooms in my view. Uh, and for the rooms, there are also uh, a couple of options available. I can dimension the perimeters of the rooms or the projection or the total, the total uh, widths and, and length of the room if I need to. Uh, let's see this in action. And I'm, I'm going to actually choose uh, another dimension style. Okay, this is better. If I need to know the total length and width of this room, for example, I can do so by checking total here in the room section. And also coming here, room selection, select, finish. This way, I have dimensioned the uh, total uh, length and width of this room. Okay. Now let's move on to another uh, drawing type, the section drawing. Uh, in the section drawing, uh, you can, uh, section or elevation, you can uh, use all levels to place dimensions over your levels. Uh, you can use wall profile to place uh, dimensions uh, of basic walls. Select any walls you want, finish. And now all of these walls dimensions have been placed. Uh, I can also use the curtain wall profile to place dimensions over uh, curtain walls. I'm going to choose uh, this dimension type. Okay, it has placed the total uh, height and width for this curtain wall, but if I need to, to place dimensions over the segments or the curtain wall grids, I can do so by checking the dimension curtain wall grids from the configuration panel. And now if I select this wall, for example, it's going to place dimensions for every uh, curtain grid. Uh, so uh, I have full control over this from the options available uh, in the configure panel or uh, in the right side of the package UI. I can also place dimensions uh, over floors uh, by coming here, selecting a floor or two floors, it will tell me the total uh, thickness of this floor and the distances or the heights between each one of them. I'm going to hit, hit escape. Uh, and I can also place flooring layers annotations over any floor. This, uh, this text is a bit uh, big, so I'm, I'm going to uh, choose uh, another uh, smaller text size or text type. Okay, this is be much better. Well, with just a, a single click, I can place uh, flooring layers annotations over any floor as I need to. Uh, okay, uh, there is also uh, a tool for placing uh, dimensions over uh, stairs in section views or elevation views as well. So, for example, uh, um, coming here to this stair, uh, stairs section, I'm going to select this stair, click finish. Uh, let's uh, choose uh, a bit smaller uh, dimension style. Okay, it's going to tell me uh, how many risers I have in each uh, run and then uh, the total height of this uh, run for each run of, of the stair. Uh, okay, let's see what we have in ceiling views. Uh, in ceiling views, I can dimension uh, pretty much uh, all the elements I have available in the plan views, but I have a special, for example, the old grids or rooms or 
uh, stuff like that. But uh, uh, additionally, I have uh, tools to, dim to place dimensions over ceilings. And for ceilings, I have the same uh, options uh, available in rooms. So I can place uh, dimensions over ceiling perimeters, uh, projections or totals, the total uh, width and length of uh, a ceiling, for example. So I can select a ceiling or even use ceilings by view to place let's choose to place dimensions over uh, the uh, entire ceilings in the entire view at once. Okay, uh, let's try an elevation view. Okay. All right. So this is the idea anyway. Uh, you can use this pack to uh, place dimensions uh, over entire projects in a handful of minutes rather than wasting uh, an entire day's at work to just place some dimensions. This, this package is available for download as a trial version on our website, uh, artisthadex.net. Uh, the trial versions are two days, but if you need extension, uh, you can always uh, email support at artisthadex.net and they will happily uh, extend this for you uh, if you have a professional uh, email account, meaning a uh, company uh, account. Uh, okay, um, I hope I have demonstrated this well for you and see you in the next video.